Hi, everybody. So, anyone who doesn't know me, I'm Matthew Rodner. I am Jenna's younger brother, now the oldest Rodner child, but I was the middle Rodner child. So, everyone, thank you for coming. Mom and Dad, thanks for an amazing night. And I just want to say, Jenna, I did not think I'd be as emotional as I was, but when you walked down during the big reveal, I started bawling. Jenna, you look absolutely amazing tonight, and you really could not have chosen a better guy in Ross, someone who has become truly one of my best friends and most loyal confidants over the past couple years. So, Ross, welcome to our family. Thank you so much for making my sister so happy. Now, this would not be a Rotner event if I didn't do something so. I figured Madison would probably do something like sing a song. I might need some help here. But might sing a song that would make everyone cry, including myself. So I figured I had to do something unconventional to be memorable. I had to create a moment that we could all share that was truly unforgettable. Because weddings are big and merry, and they call for celebration. And yes, I'm a Rotner, so I'll live up to that reputation. So it hit me last year when it took Ross to see a show, and I made the decision that I would not speak in prose. It inspired these rhymes that'll make you think of Dr. Seuss. But Lynn manuel Miranda is where I got my muse. He wrote Alexander Hamilton, our founding father's anthem. So I wrote my own song. I wrote my own tribute to this tandem. So DJ, play my track. I got a few things I want to say. I think everyone needs to know how we got here today. How does a Met fan golfer, Long Island boy in the county, dropped right in the melting pot? Yes, New York City ain't it pretty. The fancy lights and shows. Go meet this Jew from California. You know where the story goes. Yes, Jenna Rodner, the oldest daughter of my father. He moved to the Big Apple with some pressure from her mother who said time to be a wife this year you start your life Israeli mothers the sharpest edge than any knife so every day while Jen was being wanted and courted online on J Day it's where she chose to meet her suitors but inside she was picky not accepting any rooms after dinners happy hours thought a Yankee never do until a little message came hey what's up a clever phrase a follically challenged bachelor came step into the plate he put some feelers out for drinks and audible into him at Polino's down in Solo after that her fate was sealed but the Maddie snooped around and she said, this is insane. Mom, I looked him up on Google just to see who Jen is dating. Mom, you had to see this. He's not a CPA. I think my sister's gone deranged. Now what it say, Maddie? Ross A. Drucker, a 35-year-old fireman, <laughs> helping save all those in Roslyn. But that's not him. That's not him. So, although we met and learned the truth, the name stayed and fast forward two years later, see firemen and Jenna moving in above the Smith, a big step, their first real test. But Ross grew sure as the months progressed. He traveled with the Rodgers to Capri and also to Hawaii, was feeling something he never knew, something that signified his heart saying, Ross, if you don't want this to end, you best start saving and slaving. Go to the boo and talk to Glenn. There would have been nothing left to do if that had said he didn't approve. He would have been down in a depression. And yet gave him a rejection, started searching and waiting for the time to pop the question. What's Maureen Kenzo Vineyard in Napa? He's a perfection. Building for the best moment he would get his hands on. Watching the sun in the sky, he caught her eye and took a ring out from his pocket and dropped to one knee. He looked up at my sister and began to speak. He said, Jenna, with you, I'm very happy. He said, Jenna, I don't want this to end you. He said, Jenna, will you spend your life with me? said, Jenna, will you marry me? Tears to my sister. There are many things ahead of you, but please have nothing to fear because with him I know you'll be just fine. And Ross Jordan Trucker, you are the brother I never knew. But will you move out to LA? I guess for that we'll have to wait. Your world will never be the same. The rings are on your fingers, you're tied to one another. Just don't forget your creative baby brother. 
The adventure starts today, and maybe soon I'll be an uncle. Some grew up with him, but others have worked with him. But we're all here for them, so let's raise a glass to them while I drink Casamigos and say like I am. There's a million things they haven't done. Congratulations, Ross and Jenna Drucker. Wait, 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 You gotta get serious for one second. So, before I drop this mic and officially end my time, I have some advice for the two of you. It's my very last rhyme. And although it might sound weird from a kid who is single, the words they are important and they fit in my jingle. Live, laugh, love. Cherish and find the best in every situation. Please cheers to two people I love so much, the Druckers. Congratulations. <laughs> Dance, I'm about to step in dance.